Here I have my LD25 from Phoenix. It's 180 lumens. I want to go through the modes right now and here's 180 max brightness. There is 45 lumens. At 180 lumens um, it'll last for around two hours or an hour and 45 minutes and at 45 lumens it'll last for 13 hours. It has unlocking modes which uh, require you to twist and tighten the bezel multiple times on and off on and off rapidly to engage the secondary mode. This is camping mode which is as you can see very dim. It is like I don't know this is great for reading maps or looking up close. I just had to use it right now trying to look at the specs on the light while making the video. I, I realized it, it's kind of a pain to have to go through all the modes but after I did it I started to like it. And here we have a secondary mode. This is 85 lumens. Should be around 6 hours and 15 minutes. Which is actually pretty effective for, you know, within, I don't know, I would even say, you know, 50 yards. It's very bright. And then, um, here is Beacon, which is at 45 lumens, so I'm guessing it's going to have at least a 13 hour runtime. Doesn't give me the actual runtime. But for, a, for an outdoor light, I mean, this thing is spectacular. Has great modes. Once you get used to them, you really love these modes. The 80 lumen is excellent. Very long run time. And since this light has a Cree XPG, the flood is amazing. It's got a very bright flood. Here, let me show it. It's got a very bright flood, which comes in handy outdoors sometimes but me I'm a big fan of the Cree XPE here and I'll kick that on the Phoenix E25 which what I'm demonstrating here is this is a throw light it has a very bright spot it seems this light is slightly brighter than the model I'm showing you but it really does not have a very bright flood so that's going to hold you back in some aspects, but the Cree XPEs uh, have lower lumens on most of their lights, the type of LED, but they produce, to me, a much brighter LED and throws. It's very tight and has a very nice hotspot and throws very far. So for me outdoors, I love Cree XPEs. But there are so many people who do not like them. Because as you can see, this has a much wider beam. And for your eyes outdoors, sometimes you don't want to look very narrow for a long period of time. Here I am back on max brightness. Here it is, here's a my E25 in comparison. And you see how it's a brighter spot, but there's very little flood to it. So I would suggest researching your LEDs, mainly Crees, I, I prefer them, they're the best, and pick out the one you like. You know, get a few flashlights together and find your beam pattern. Right now I want to show you how you have to switch modes in the Phoenix LD25. Here's a good chance to take a look at the grip. It actually feels all right. It's kind of slick, but I don't know. I was expecting better. To go from high mode to low, you just turn. But to switch between the three major modes, you turn, loosen, turn, loosen, turn, loosen. And it will drop you into it if you do it fast enough. See, sometimes if you don't do it fast enough, just do it again. But, yeah, it's not really the most fun, but it's definitely nice to have some unlockable modes. 
And it seems like a lot at first, but after you get used to them, you realize how much you really love them.